Welcome back, everybody, to some nauseous below zero. We've got quite a few things still ahead of us to do, and I'm not really sure which ones we should be going for first. I still have to get to this, which... I guess I could go down into that area. I do want to build a, a quantum uh, chest, as it were. Uh, but I, I need my advanced wiring kit. I need a computer chip, um, which I'm still on the prowl for. Which will be... Oh, I just need table coral, is it? In hindsight, probably should have done this off camera. But here we are, showing you the bare fruits of what I have to offer. Um, I need to get some table coral, that's fine. Um, and then we have an ad we get an advanced wiring kit from that, and then... I have ion cube and titanium, so we can make a quant- Well, that's only one quantum chest. I still need to- or quantum locker. I still need to be able to build... Uh, another one somewhere else, so... I guess some of the things that we have to do, some of it are less important to the story aspect of the game, which is fine. I'm taking my time with it, and I'm not trying to, like, brute force the game and get through everything as quickly as I can. Um, I want to build a base closer to the mining site, which, incidentally, is probably not going to be that vital to me if I build one there. I just kind of want to, because then I'll be able to uh, avail of the thermal power that's there, so maybe we'll do that a little after. I do need to go to the snowy region to get some stuff from there. Is there an ice power? You know, we have thermal power, we have solar power, like everything's coming from like UV and heat and everything. It would probably make sense for you to start making power out of ice and cold. Why isn't that a thing? Why can't we do that? That seems fairly obvious for the technological advancements that this game has to offer. Um, and then we need to go down and get this, so maybe that should be our first order of business. Um, what did I need to make a prawn suit depth module thing? Prawn suit depth module mark one. Ruby and Amaga synthet synthetic fibers. Oh yeah! That was something. I figured out what the spiral plant clippings were. Um, so let's let's work on that. Spiral plant clipping. Oh, synthetic fibers need rubies as well. Shit, man. And I need enameled glass, which needs that was like diamonds and lead, right? And just regular glass. Do I have any enameled glass left over? God, some of the more obvious things, like quartz, I just don't have any of. Yeah, lead glass and diamond. Because there's just such an abundance of it around that I'm like, I'm not picking you up and filling up my inventory, and then suddenly it's like, shit, I need quartz, man. <laughs> um, I don't have any power in my mineral detector, so I'm just gonna have to eyeball this. Yeah, I know, free willy style. Usually I'm better equipped. I was gonna say usually I'm better equipped than this, but I'm really not. Ooh, there's a PDA down here. Oh. Altera misplaces one kilometer capital ship Aurora. Galactic news, intergalactic perspective. Contact has been lost with Aurora some 18 months into its journey to install a phase gate in the Ariadne arm. Report issues, report inside sources. Um, Altera launched the Aurora to much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced the ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in. Yeah, because we fucking crashed and burned up in the atmosphere. As for comment, a spokesperson for Altera said communication with ships outside of the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. The Aurora was in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. We have no reason to think anything has changed. See, that's the thing about space stuff. I should not be taking my time with this. Space stuff getting ahead of schedule is a little weird, because usually the calculations are so precise that getting ahead of schedule is a little off. Nonetheless, our sources emphasize that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact from the Kim's ship. Keen readers will remember how that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press. Yeah. Okay. What pieces did you have? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. That was right next to me all this time. And I didn't get it. For shame! That's the thing, you, you go off in these tangents and you go off into these areas and explore all of these different locations and find stuff that way that a lot of the stuff I needed is probably on my front door. It's just, I don't see it immediately. A lot of limestone chunks around, maybe I should be grabbing those, but... Me doing things ahead of time instead of just getting the one material I need? Nah. That ain't my style, family. Quartz! 
So it's two quarts per glass. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> and then it's two, it's just one glass per enamel glass, right? And we'll just get a little more anyway. What are these? Sea glide fragments. Don't need those. I can scan them for the titanium later if I want. Huh? Titanium? Anybody? Are these anything? Root pustule. Who knows? Maybe you'll make something when we're back. Got a lot of quartz! Hell yeah! I also think the sea monkeys have been nice to me this entire time. I think that's what people were saying, that they're just bring me things. I, I thought that they were like stealing things off of me, but they were actually just bringing me items and then I started beating the shit out of them. <laughs> Which arguably I think is more entertaining than just doing exactly what they want me to do. I ain't no sea monkey bitch! What do you, what do you got? Thank you for the table coral, see? Nice. What a lovely lad. <laughs> I may have killed some of your family. Thinking that they were stealing stuff from me. And then I shot first. Kind of fucked up of me. I thought they used to steal things. Didn't they steal things at one point in the game? I can't remember. Shocker. <laughs> I'm like a fucking boomer playing this game. I can't remember. I do need to get more rubies though, because I think I only have like one. Yes. It was indeed factual that Jack had said that he only had one. That's bad. Is there water for me to drink? Hello? No, how close are you to? Did it just finish? <laughs> God, smile upon me! Uh, I need 50. Yeah, why not? What's 19 wasted, huh? We're not gonna be gone that long. 24 days later. Thank you! Good to be here! We are going to... lose all sense of direction. I should put my sea truck in the moon pool, shouldn't I? Can I put the sea truck in the moon pool? Is that what the docking module is for? You know what, we're all about to find out something. I don't think I can put it in the way it is. So, we'll detach this. Have I ever tried to put a sea truck in the moon pool? Do you fit? Do you belong? <gasps> you do! Nice! You might as well be getting power while I'm gone, you know? Since... I don't have a power cell charger. This is my power cell charger. Um... Sea truck horsepower upgrade. Nice. Depth upgrade, perimeter defense upgrade. Wait, I just have a perimeter defense upgrade. I don't need to do that. Afterburn upgrade. I need to get more materials for that. I also got all the fragments for a grappling arm for the prawn suit. Which actually, hold on. Let me do this. PDA pause while we're gone. Um, grappling arm. Benzene, titanium, lithium. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so many things that I need to make. How do I make benzene again? Flowering spore and ribbon plants. I don't know what the fuck a flowering spore is. I don't know anything! I don't know these controls! We're gonna go get more rubies anyway, because I wanted to go to the mining location regardless. And that's where there were a bunch of rubies that I missed. And a bunch of other things. I also need that table coral that's there. But I'm gonna need all the... Hold on. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> um, I, I have a, that was an excellent adventure. Good job, everybody. We got exactly what we came out to do. <laughs> I forgot I had some. I got it when I was drilling last time. Ah, oh, something in my eye. Good boy! Yeah, quantum locker. Let's make one of these bad boys. I want to see what they look like. How much space you got? Um. Do I like put you down? Can't drop item. Use storage containers instead. Eh? To oh. Oh. Can I put you in the sea truck? Modules? I don't know. Why put them outside? I mean, 
mean, I'm sure there's a very good reason for it, and one that I'm not going to understand. Um, but I thought I could just like put them down in here and just fill my entire base full of those, and then fill another base full of those, and it's fucking weird if you ask me. But nevertheless, still very helpful. Uh, so I need synthetic fibers now, and what do I need to make benzene? It's right there. Flowering spore and ribbon plants. Okay, I need to find flowering spores and uh, ribbon plants are easy because I have my own fucking supply of them. Um, I can put all of you bad boys in here now that I have room. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I would put stuff in the quantum locker right now so I could use it somewhere else, but I don't have the materials to make another one. I was going to Look, I'm getting distracted. There's too many distractions in this game. I have one mission that I want to do right now, and it's just getting supplies. That's it. That's that's all I want to do. But I needed to empty my inventory. And away we go! Woo! Sorry, sea monkey! Fuck! God, I'm just eradicating their entire species unknowingly. I want to be like Maida. She like showed up and was like, hey, partner, get out of my swamp. And I'm like, and then she just disappeared and yeeted herself into the ocean like this. That's epic! No wonder she did it! Whoa! What are you? Hello? I met you before, didn't I? A juvenile vent garden. Have I? Whoa! I said, whoa! Roughly 20 meters long, the juvenile vent garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown established vent garden. You think? This gentle giant appears to swim in aimless, looping circles around mature vent gardens. You mean there's a big one of these somewhere? Swimming. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, the very young vent garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature. Okay. Uh, the bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until it anchors over a vent. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Whoa! So, like a big one of you somewhere? Oh god, not that, not that, not that! Oh, get back to the ship! I want to get inside a giant jellyfish thing. Vent garden. You probably have some really good materials. Right? Keep swimming, though. You're doing great. Proud of you. There she blows. Coming in hot, folks. Look at it below. Woohoo! This is a lot less dramatic than I thought. I'm just floating. Wait, can I should be able to get in here with you, right? Because you have fucking... Yeah, buddy. You have stuff all over you that needs mining. Don't worry, lads. Mind your own business. I'm here to do mine. Own business. <laughs> um, was there anything here? Time to turn on the highlights. So we can see. I don't want to miss any rubies. Whee! That's just a titanium deposit there, right? But I feel like this is slower than the actual elevator. Um, you can also pick stuff up while you're in the prawn suit. Was that always a thing? Have I just never had the arm attached for too long to be able to realize that? Because that's really handy. I mean, it's a lot slower. And the, the aiming of it is a little wonky, because if you're moving at all, it won't pick it up. But, very nice, very nice. Very nice indeed. Maybe you should have had the thermal vent power upgrade thing for this. But it came in handy. Look, prawn suit. You're just here for digging and for mobile oxygen. More than anything else. Also, I feel like if you can make something that it can have oxygen in this thing of this size, surely you can make something that goes on my back that's a bit better at, than the fucking one I have. And it just filters oxygen all the time. Gold! Yes! A very worthy resource to get. This might take a while. Nice! Um, titanium is in pretty big supply, so I'm not gonna get that right now. Is that a ruby deposit? Wait, how do I... 
Yeah! Oh my god, I didn't even know these were a thing! Am I even hitting you? There we go, now I'm hitting you. Look at you! My storage is full already. <laughs> really? That's not that big! I need a storage upgrade. Well, at least I still have... Um, I can still drill them and pick them up and put them on my person. That's great though, that's a lot of rubies. That's exactly what I wanted. Granted, I don't need this many rubies, but it's just good to have them. Because surely something's going to come along eventually where it's like, Sorry, you need a billion more rubies. And I'd be like, man... Excuse me! Oh, you want to go? Rock puncher? Yeah! How about this? Dick driller! No, you're going to die. You're going to die here. In this, in this zone. Oh, so sad. Oh, you probably shouldn't punch things that you don't, uh, yeah, fuck you. Taught him. Oh, you can't actually go in here with the prawn suit. Um, let's just go back in here to give a bit of a better look. I'll turn off the, the hood so you guys can see a bit better. This was from last time. Isn't it cool? So is this like what the architect's bodies actually look like? They're so elegant and thin and graceful looking. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Creature egg? No, I... I just don't really care about the creature... Uh, collecting aspect of this. I like finding them and growing them and releasing them and having your own aquarium modules and all that. That's not what I'm about. I'm here to dredge the resources of this planet for my own personal gains. I am the alien invader. Granted, it's a lot less chaotic and scary than the movies would show you. Imagine if that's what aliens actually did. They just came and harvested our resources for like weeks. And we're just sitting there like, come on, man, stop. And then the alien is like, no, but anytime they, anytime we try and like get them to stop, they just kill one of us. And it's like, okay, fine. I guess we'll just stay out of it. <laughs> While the alien is over here drilling copper. All right. That's going to do it for now. Time to head back. Should I build a second moon pool? Do you guys think? Can you build another moon pool right next to the one you have? And then I can just charge my, my stuff together. I rarely need to charge stuff together because I usually take one and go out with it, but it would make me feel like a big baller, you know? Or maybe I could put down a thermal, like five thermal power things all the way over at the, at the island, or like right above where I am, and then just create power relays that go all the way back to my base. Maybe that's a better use of my time, actually. Or I could, uh, make... Uh, quantum lockers out here. I don't know. I'm just a buzz with ideas. I really want to punch the shit out of one of these guys. For all the trouble they give us. Can I just kill them and then I never have to deal with them again? They might damage me a lot, though, before then. I'll leave them alone. Consider themselves lucky that they get to live in my domain. Please don't kill me, though. That would suck. Oh god, they're everywhere. I feel less scared now, though. Because I got the pat. Pat! Yeah, you see that? Pat! Pat! You can't even catch me. You're so slow. What a stinky man you are. Oh, honey. I'm Jack. Let's pop a squat right here. Nice. Okay, I might need to make... Yes, Alan. Another artifact. Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. <laughs> it doesn't even, like, argue or say anything. It's just like... Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, I need to, um... <laughs> can I, like... Rip oh, you can. Okay. Because I just need two, and then I can... Stop! Oh, it's, it's this one. <laughs> Guys, sometimes brains stink. 
Oh, so many resources. Oh, it feels good to be a gangster. Nice. Right, so I still need some py pyrus band clippings. Okay, let's let's look for some spiral clan. Let's look for the English language so we can speak it. I think it's in the deep twisty bridges. Oh, I think that's what people have been telling me. So let's go down there. I because it's it's one of those things that I've probably seen a bunch, but when you don't know what it is and you don't know what you're looking for and you're just kind of looking for something else, your brain just glosses over it. Um. So let's take a trip. God, this is pretty slow. I would like a horsepower upgrade. Especially if I'm carrying that fat dumpy of a module behind me. Can I go deeper here? Yes, sir! Oh, and a PDA. Well, listen, it's just my birthday. Cheese on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo module and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster Morning. to save all Terra some money. Manuel, well, not going to be happy. Not one bit. I forgot that I can't go much deeper in this thing. Actually, this is... <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, spiral plant, spiral plant. I don't see any. I see a lot of diamond, though. Airplane? What are this? A hydrothermal vent. Well, that's not that great. Um, even for the prawn suit, this is pushing max depth for right now. Shit, shit, shit. I'm stuck in here. Shit. I need to go up, I need to go up, I need to go up, I'm stuck. Go, 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 go! Fuck, fuck, fuck! That could have been bad. Ah! Holy shit. Just another day in Subnautica, baby! Uh, made a bit of a blunder. It wasn't the deep twisty bridges, it was the deep purple vents that the spiral plants are in. Or vent gardens, but. I haven't seen one of those yet. I saw a small one, but not a big one. So we might actually have to take Pepper out on a ride again. Because I don't think the sea truck's going to be able to go down there. <laughs> what the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> Looks like a cat playing with a fucking ball of wool. <laughs> okay, purple vents. Or pink. God. Excuse me, sir. Why do you suck? And why do you think it's your right to do whatever you want? Oh, this is scary. Are you a module that I have? Um... Just kind of pointed out, don't like being here. I'm trying not to fill up on any other items because I want to get the stuff that I'm here for. Whoa! This artifact could provide useful information. Sure could. Processing. I can visualize the location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I'm sure it is correct. Ah! A stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. So he's going to the ice place. Uh, let me check this. Sleeper module fragment. I don't think I have all those yet. Nice! Now we do. What's this? A booster tank! <gasps> New blueprint synthesized. I forgot about the booster tank! Wasn't that the thing that I was able to equip and then break the game? I was able to go along the surface and just boost and keep my oxygen. It uses oxygen to like boost you forward, but if you go along the surface, you can use your oxygen and boost at the same time. Ah, oh, that was so much fun! But I told the devs not to fix it, so maybe they did. Do you count as deep purple vents? How deep are we talking? Is it like this hole? Oh, this is getting pretty deep for sure. Oh, it's probably you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we're going down. Oh, hate this. Oh, and it just keeps going, huh? What's that? Is that skeleton bones? Whoa. Spire plant! With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time. This is it. But then their presence becomes faint. Oh, it's a whole, like, fucking thing. Spire plant! Yay, let's go! Oh, oh. Ice! I'll get a couple. It's like you go visit the Eiffel Tower. It's like, what do you do? Do you take one picture? No, you take a few. Let's scan this. New technology acquired. Ion batteries. Oh, yeah, ion batteries are dope. Okay, PDA pauses on. Based on analysis, it is speculated that this artifact is an archaeological tool for finding and excavating fossil remnants. The main body of the equipment is housed between two glide rails. The excavator emits a sonar pulse that gathers data on the ground beneath it. When it bounces back with a possible fossilized object, it begins the excavation process. Nice. Can I use it? A set of lasers emit from the arms and slowly removes micro layers of material. Once the fossil is revealed, the same carefully calibrated lasers are utilized to break loose materials while preserving the fossil underneath. Fossils can be analyzed using carbon dating and other methods to understand what the environmental makeup might have been millions of years ago, which can be compared to current data to look for trends. That's kind of cool. That's kind of that's kind of very cool. What is all this? Oh. Just an ion cube. I thought it was like a whole base. Dang. I miss going through the giant bases. They were really awesome in regular Subnautica. Wait, what are these? You guys look important. Ah! You was the assholes! That's what you are! Son of a bitch! Fumarole. No thanks, I'm full. Oh, you ran out of crystals! I didn't realize what that was. I thought it was cave sulfur. Nice! Your ananite crystals are going to come in real handy. Especially if I have to, um... Oh, this is more fucking deep. It's on lithium, though. Whoa, what are you? Docking module! I still only have two or three. Yeah, I thought it was you. Crystalline sulfur, not cave sulfur. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Yeah, yeah, I'm heading back. Ah! What? The fuck is that? Is that a purple vent character? Oh god! Is that the thing I read about in my book? Can I scan any of this? Hello? Oh, it's doing it again! Run! This area sucks! Oh, depth module upgrade I need. What's down there? Death? Well, luckily, that's why I came here, was to get stuff to be able to make that. Make synthetic fibers. Maybe I should grab more. I feel like I don't have enough. Because now I can make ion batteries and ion power cells. And I think I need uraninite to do that. And then I can make, like, nuclear power. Even though... I kind of feel like I don't need nuclear power at this point. Like, what's the benefits other than I don't have to update my power as much? Because it'll last long. But also it gives me more power. But do I really need that much more power right now? I guess if I build two moon pools. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll get power cells. Ion power cells for my gear. And batteries as much as I can. Then we'll make two moon pools. And then we'll make a nuclear reactor. As simple as that. Just like that. Whoa. Last piece? Docking module? Yeah! That's an epic pog champ! Alright, we got some stuff that we need. Let's get the fuck out of here. This place stinks. Oh, the docking module allows me to put this prawn suit on the back. I forgot. That's so cute. Put him on like a little backpack. 
Welcome aboard. What up, Alan? Why do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that? I'm warning you. If you call humanity well, in this region one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that <laughs> sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient. Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. So, sorry, I'm drinking. Um, I need to get the water first and then I can drink. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Um, I made enamel glass at one point, didn't I? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, my inventory system, uh, admittedly, is quite garbage right now. Um, depth module, yes! Hell yeah! That's huge! That's gonna allow us to go so much further down. That This gets me, what, 600 meters? Uh... 700 meters! That's so many things! Oh! I can go down to that deep pur deep purple vent area again. Wasn't there somewhere else? Oh yeah, down past Maida. I can get down there. I need food, actually. Right now. Also in real life. Kind of hungry. Oh, Pepper, I have an upgrade for you. You know how you're using these stinky power cells? What if I ion power cell? What do you think about that? Pretty cool, huh? It took a lot of materials to make that, though, so please use it well. <laughs> Like, way too many materials than they're probably worth. Oh, now I just have a regular power cell, I forgot. Uh, let me... Hold on, hold on. Let me do that, and then put the stinky battery in. Nice, 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 nice. I really need to go through my materials here at some point and put them in better order than they're in right now, but I have missions to do. I have other things to be doing. I can't be sitting here. Uh, now I need to find out what a flowering spore is and where I get that. Um, I mean, I don't really need a grappling arm fragment. Now that I have the thing for pepper, I can just start exploring the deep areas. Wait, do I still have stuff in your stories that I didn't take out? Nah, it couldn't be me. I should bring some food. I don't, know, I don't know how long these really last. Probably not long enough, but I do want to go deep sea exploring. I mean, I'd probably be fine because I'm pretty full up on water and food, but... Why not just a little bit more, you know? These already have a notch gun off them! You've been out of your grave... Beds for two seconds! I want to explore. I feel like I've been doing a bit too much like farming and stuff sometimes. Uh, thank you for having me. I kind of want to get to these two things. Progress the story a little bit. <gasps> and, uh, we Probably should have gotten the grapple arm upgrade, but... The, the boosts straight up. Straight up. The space bar boost, just the jumping boost, actually goes really far now. Like, I can, I can push this for quite a while. You can push shift to go forward too, but we have enough power to usually get out of any holes that we get into. And if not, like, I could just die and go back to my base and then take my sea truck back. Which one first, though? Because the one down by Maida, <clears throat> the one down past her base, that 
leads to like an area that I'm going to later anyway, right? Um, that was that one. God, I don't actually know now. Let's just go to this one. It's in front of us. Why not? I'm gonna have to get bows eventually. Now, how did I get down again? Can I just go over here and find a hole and go down? Don't you dare try and attack me on my vacation summertime away from my home. There we go. There we go. That's a good hole. Oh, that's a hole for sure. This might actually be the one down to Meta, now that I'm thinking about it. God, this is terrifying. It's like... Ever see those movies where they go to cave exploring, or just videos in general? And it's like, how do you know you won't hit a point where you can't come back? How do you go cave exploring like that? That's terrifying to me. Meta's base should be here somewhere, right? Am I in the right location? Oh god, this is so fucking far down. Oh, this might actually be the the other one. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. Yeah. A body component is near. Is this a flower spore? Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of good materials here. I'm gonna take these, thanks. I'm also gonna eat. While some of my food is still edible. <laughs> it's good to eat edible food. I try and strive to do that all, every day of my life. Can I grab you as I'm falling? Hey, hey! Oh wait, did I? I don't know if I did or not. Oh my god, this is so spooky! Oh, I need some of these as well. These were on a recipe for something. I can't remember what recipe it was, but absolutely gonna pick some of these. Oh, 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 this is so creepy. I don't like being here. Technically, it's beautiful, but there's something about that beauty that's scaring me. It's almost too beautiful, you know? It's giving me the willies. I've played this game before. I shouldn't be this fucking scared of it. Uh, put all of this stuff in there. As much as I can. Perfect! Alright, where's the... Where's the piece? That's not it. Uh, oh, it's still below me. Oh, Jesus. I'm at 500 meters, dude! I'm a, I'm a barf. I'm gonna barf. I hate it. Well, so far I don't see any creatures, which is good. But I know in Subnautica that the deeper we go, the more fucked it gets. This area is devastatingly confusing. But at least after I get all of these items, or at least some of them, I should be able to make some cool stuff when I'm back. I'm gonna make some weird shit! The worst part about it is that... Well, I don't have a compass, <laughs> which I haven't made yet, but when you go in one direction, then it's like, oh, this is the direction to go. That's a good sign. But then it's like, shit, I, have I explored this one already, or am I just going in circles? It's very easy to get lost in this game. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot what this feeling is like to go so deep down, dark, deep down, that you're just... Clutch, curling your toes the entire time. Oh, heavens to Bessies. Oh, God, you fuckers are down here. Why are you so deep down, dark, deep down? Thanks, I was gone for literally two seconds. Okay, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. I'm faster. I'm better. I'm stronger. Look at me go. Oh. That's a lot of uraninite that I could use. Have you calmed down? Actually, I'm gonna have to come back out, so maybe I shouldn't fill up before dinner, you know?
Are you going away? Wow. Okay, music, I'm gonna need you to calm down for a second so we can get this ambiance a little more. What is this? Ancient ornamental plant. Ancient ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to an incredibly so slow cell metabolism, which is backed up by carbon dating. The plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. What? This process alters the state of cells and transforms them to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for an incredibly long periods of time. Almost signifying that it's immortal. The carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display, amongst other alien artifacts, suggest that the art architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. Here's parts of your body. Whoa, is that like the first piece of like actual body that I have? <gasps> The others I just have ideas of, but this is the actual skeleton. I can make that now. Wait, polyalanine is uraninite crystals, right? Golden hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is young cotton anemone. And salt This powder. skeleton is very dense, able to handle heavy forces. A good frame for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Is that it? <laughs> this is basically a Zen garden. More, more or less. I wonder if that actually goes anywhere. Okay, well the skeleton is why we're here, but I thought we'd get a little more information out of this place. You know when you would go to like the research areas? Oh, my thirst is actually gonna kick in soon. Which kind of sucks. Okay, nice! So underneath where Maida is, I think, will be another part, like his organs or something. I wonder if the body's going to be similar to what it was originally. Like, oh, that's a good one. What was that? Magnetite. Yeah. In the original version of the game, in the early access, we got to see what his body looks like already. I hope it's different. I hope it doesn't look the exact same, because I would like to see... I don't know, I, it would be a shame if there wasn't anything new. So to speak. I got a bunch of you though, didn't I? But I do need three per hydrochloric acid. That should be enough. Yeah, I have lots. Let's see if I can set this to magnetite. Magnetite, yeah. Okay, so there's none nearby. Let's just have a little looky looky. you oh I know I said I didn't want to pick up eggs but you look special I don't have an aquarium though okay no magnetite around I want to make sure I'm back near the surface before I get too thirsty the last piece I'd imagine is he said it was on the surface right so, where you bring the snow fox? What if it's like... Oh, where am I? What if it's like part of the Leviathan? That'd be so cool if his body act You put his body in the Leviathan. It'd be a very cumbersome body, but it would look cool for me as a player. Magnetite! Hell yeah. Any more? Yes. Magnetite! Now it becomes the arduous journey of trying to get back out of here. Should we be able to rest on this? 
Oh yeah, look how far that gets me now. I feel like they increased that. Oh, can you stand still? Not really. Yeah! Nice. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Fuck. Fuck. Uh. Okay, nice. This is why the grappling hook arm would be really handy, but... Look, we're in this mess without it. Without it, we'll get out of this mess without it. Oh, honey! I'm Jack! Right in! Right in! Right in! Oh, like a surgeon! Thanks, Susie! Good to be home! Good to be home! It was frightful out there. We... Almost died several times. Um, alright, this is going along well. Okie dokie! And some water just for me! Exactly the thing I needed in this time! Hell yeah! Stabilizing. Nice. I haven't done anything with my coffee because I haven't been in... It's going to be useful for when I go to the surface section. Um... Alright, what do I make? Ugh, creature egg. Ugh. Uh, let's make some benzene. While I'm here. Um, the rest of the flower spores are in this right. Yes, sir! So now I can make one benzene! Nice! Do I have an advanced wiring kit? I don't think so. I think I actually have to make that. Stinky! Also make some hydrochloric acid. Make some polyalanine. I forgot what that was for. What did I need polyalanine for? <laughs> there was something- Oh, I- Oh, I just need a wiring kit! Oh, 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 let's do this. Um, shit. Uh, fuck. Um, shit. Uh, 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 just put something away, Sean. <laughs> there we go. And now I can make a booster tank, baby. Inventory full. Let's just put it on my back. Really? Fine, I'll put stuff away. Give me that. With only a booster tank, Dr. Felicity Aman once escaped the underwater acid <laughs> forest on planet Alpha 671. Wow, that's so important that I didn't listen to it. Can I... Can I not... Boosty? They patched it out! You can't go fast on the surface anymore! Damn it! Why? It was so fun! Granted, a little broken, but really, really fun! Stupid game not doing the thing. <laughs> So, for my quantum locker, I'm gonna put some generic stuff like copper, titanium, silver, maybe... Yeah, everything else feels a little too expensive to be putting in there. Oh, I needed a polyalanine for your body. Oh, well, that's ages of... Oh, I can actually build that right now. Three diamond and a plasteel ingot? Don't mind if I yes. Oh, I think I actually have titanium ingots. Uh, not there. Yeah. I just need some lithium, right? Where do I keep my lithium? Lord knows. Can I- can I build it here? No. No, I- I need to be at the- the thing, right? You need to go back- you need to go to the end with Alan, and then there's like a fabricator there, and you put the stuff in, and then you build it. Right, 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 right. Well, at least I have that stuff now. I should make a locker for Alan's body. Yeah. I should really label my lockers. But let's face it, I haven't started now, why would I ever? Alan, body. And then that, that, and... That. Perfect. There's your skeleton, dude. It's made of green uh, blocks and diamond. 
Damn, that's a pimp ass body. Righty ho ho. Let's make us a. Uh... Why did I come down here to do it? Let's make us a grappler. That'll come in very nicely. Now, this took a while to get, Pepper. Probably a little longer than it probably should have. And I'm ashamed to admit it, but at least now you have it. You have a grapple arm and you have a... Ah, oh, fuck. You have a grapple arm and you have a drill arm. Looking good. Now we're really going to fly around the place. Um, can I get the horsepower upgrade? Lubricant and lithium. I feel like I have those. Maybe not the lube. I might have used all that. <laughs> I, I think I did, actually. There's not an ounce of lube anywhere on the space. Look, it gets lonely. And an upgrade for good old Terry. That'll be nice, because that helps you go faster, I'm assuming. Am I so... Oh, Jesus. Uh... Yes! Are you faster? feel a little faster. You're at least faster when you have these things on you now, which is important when I go on a long mission, especially to the surface area. Okay, good. Some decent upgrades. What other upgrades can I get for them, actually? Um, Afterburner upgrade is really what I want. Bonds to thermal reactor, recharges power cells in hot areas. It ain't kyanite for that, though. I don't have that. Prawn suit storage module. Titanium and lithium. Doesn't it have a storage module? Let's see if it does anything. I feel like I'm being rickrolled with this. <laughs> oh, it is just expanded storage. Oh my god, I still have more stuff in here. I forgot about that. Well, good, because we're about to make another trip in the prawn suit, so it's good to have more storage now. All right, Paprika, let's head out again. Thank you, thank you. Good to be here, good to be here. We are heading to this place. Let's test out this. Whee! It's okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, go again. It's not really as exciting as I had hoped. Maybe I'm actually able to just go down somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's... An active oh. volcano detected nearby. An active volcano? Whoa! This is a volcano? The volcano's normally, like, not... No. <laughs> Get off me, you bastard! Get off! Just fucking fall faster! You're in a giant metal thing in the ocean! Just go! This God! Uh-huh! That's fucking great! What about my emotional toil? I need to repair this. Ooh! Damn, 500 meters again. Okay, um, repair tool. That sucked! <laughs> scared me. I don't like being scared. Alright, let me scan your shite, Alan. I like how this became- You better help me find what happened to my sister. Because I feel like I've been helping you a lot, and that's it. Ground sampler. This alien artifact appears to be, be a programmable robot that collects and analyzes samples of soil and rock. Scans indicate the presence of equipment closely analogous to human-built lasers and spectrograph analysis equipment. Is that it, or do I have to go down? Alan, is that it? Architect body cache, architect artifact P. No. Well, maybe it is. Can you even go down? Oh, it's a bad idea. I'm gonna die. 
I'm gonna die for sure. Terrible idea. Inactive volcano, huh? Oh. Oh, there's nothing down here. Except fear. <laughs> and shit now that I've been here. <laughs> Okay, that was it? Architect, artifact? We good, Alan? Can I get the fuck out of here? That's cool, though. There's so many deposits around this. Copper ore. Quartz. Oh, I thought these were all deposits as well. Oh, never mind. Why are you here? That's awesome, though. I want to be able to just experience the beautiful splendors that are Subnautica without having to fear for my life at every single second. I guess that just goes hand in hand, huh? Whoa, you're cool! But at a safe distance. Let's see if we can Spider-Man our way around. Not really. <laughs> I thought it'd be like super cool that I'd swing forward. And then land back down, but you run out of power. Actually, quicker than I gave it credit for, I'm just gonna say. No power. I want double power. Please. Alright, Pepper, back in you go. Cool! Well, I think that that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, I've, all the artifact things are gone off my beacons now. Well, it still says that that one's on, but... I just took it off. Well, god damn it, now it's back. I think I got it. I, I'm pretty sure because it said it's an artifact and not a. Uh, it's not like a part of his body. So that's good. Uh, eat all these. Why not? So yeah. I think we're gonna leave this here. Next up, I'm not too sure where to go. We still have to go back to Maida's place and find out whatever's underneath that. Um, because we didn't have enough to get there last time, and I feel like there's going to be more materials that I can scan. I still need... maybe I should just go back to the crash site and look, because I kind of gave up on it. Because um, I somebody said that there were other crash sites to get parts from, so I think I just kind of left it there instead of progressing... where the fuck is it? This, the parallel processing unit. So maybe we should spend some time trying to get that next time, because, um... It's been ages since I got those two parts, and I kind of just forgot about it and have been willy-nilly going around doing other things, which are still important to whatever we're doing, but it's not um, the number one mission right now. So we need to go back to Meta's place, look around there, maybe find a parallel processing unit, and then use that to get whatever we're doing next. And then after that, we're going to the surface. So bear with me. There's a lot to do, and you can do it in so many different directions. Um, however you want, but at least we're still making progress, and my my gear is still good, because this is all stuff that I would have been doing anyway after. Even if I got all the story done, I'd still want to, like, upgrade my base and grab materials and upgrade my machines and everything, so... It's all going to the one direction in the end, regardless. But thank you guys for watching this episode! Don't forget, leave a like on it, as always, and don't forget to subscribe as well, so you can keep up to date when the next episodes are coming out. It's probably gonna be tomorrow, um, but just in case it's not so you're well updated. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.